Hey folks, here we are. It is Monday, the 15th of August. I'm Tom Young, and we're here today for podcasts on anchorfm.com called Money Shifts and the Family Money Farm Group live on Facebook. Our interesting topic today, this week, is really we're going to dive into and dwell on velocity of money, how to really make my dollars do two, three, maybe four things as that dollar passes through our life. Remember, money in motion is what creates more wealth. It isn't parking it somewhere. It's understanding how money makes money. And that is so important to everything we do. We start every presentation with prayers for everybody around the world. This COVID pandemic, whatever, I, I mean, you hear so many things now about it. it. It's becoming hard to believe. This virus originated in Wuhan lab in China and was released in some way around the world. It has touched every human being worldwide. More than a million people have died from this virus, so they say. So we need to pray for everybody. We need to pray for those who have lost loved ones and pray for the loved ones who have been lost, that the Lord would stretch out his arms and gather them into his kingdom of heaven above. In Jesus' name we pray. We add our prayers also for those in Ukraine and Russia that the leadership there would somehow figure out in their brain the smartness of negotiation and peace with what is going on. We pray for those who have died, that the Lord would gather them into his kingdom of heaven above. Again, in Jesus' name we pray. You know, we talk about things, and, and, and I love my quotes every day, what I do, because it just gives logic and, and, and validity to the things that I talk about. And, and we still have quotes from Albert Schweitzer. And, and today's quote is, the true worth of a man is not to be found in man himself, but in the colors and textures that come alive in others. You know, it's funny because, you know, I've heard this before. It isn't what you do in life. It's the person you become. But you know what it really comes down to is the influence that you have had on other people. Good influence, bad influence. You know, you're going to be measured someday by what you provided, the service you provided to other people. So again, the true worth of a man is not found in man himself, but in the colors and textures that come alive in others because of that man. Now, it's interesting. When we talk about velocity of money, very simply, money flows through our lives. We trade time for money. We receive a paycheck. We do something with that money. We pay bills. We save it and do other things. And all of this, all of these things all fall into what a category that I call God's plan. God has a plan for all of us. There were lots and lots of comments in the New Testament about money. It is all throughout the Bible. You know, the love of money is where evil comes from. It's not the money itself that is bad. It's what you do with the money. It's the kind of person you become as you make money. The more and more money that you make, the more and more money that you earn, the more that you accumulate, it has an effect on who you become with that money. It's like the story of the talents in the Bible. You know, the Lord gave talents to three different people. And the one he gave 10 talents to took the money, and when the Lord returned, when the master returned, he had doubled and tripled the money. And he said, what a great servant you are, so I will put you in charge of great stores of wealth. 
Another servant he gave five talents to. And again, when he returned, the servant had doubled the five talents to 10. And he gave him more responsibility and reward for what he had done. The third one he had gave one talent to, and that servant was afraid of the master. So he went and he buried it in, the, in his yard, buried it in the dirt to keep it safe. And when the master returned, he said, master, here is your talent you gave me. I, I kept it safe and buried it, and here it is back. And the master said, you lazy lout. Now, I'm paraphrasing a lot. You lazy lout. Take from him what I gave him and throw him in the dungeons. Now, why is that? Now, my interpretation of that is simple. It could be, it could be our individual abilities as a human being. It could be the money that is allocated to us. Do you use the money to help other people? Do you tie the church? All, all of these things matter. And, and more than anything else, you know where it matters? It matters in the six inches between your ears. So as we look at things and try to understand them, when I talk about velocity of money, you know, what does that mean? And to different people, it's going to have different meaning in, in different ways. And I apologize for looking up. And then looking at the camera, because my big camera, I got a wiring problem. So I'm using the integrated camera in, in my computer today. So we talk about this velocity of money. And I made a comment about if I have a dollar flowing through my life, how do I get two, three, and four turns on that dollar? And, and if I refer and use reference to this, model that I know of with a protection, savings, and growth component. Each of those three components has nine elements. So that's 27 elements. So a dollar coming into this in the protection element is everything from my auto insurance, homeowners, extended excess liability, disability, medical, social program with the government, ownership, uh, trust, and life insurance are in that protection component. If I put money in the end of those nine drawers, it ends right there. I pay my car insurance premium. If I don't have a claim, the dollar is gone forever. It's everywhere in that model. However, in, in P9, which is the life insurance element, if I put money into permanent life insurance with a dividend paying mutual life insurance company, that money now has two parts to it. One is the death benefit should I die. It has a disability benefit should I become disabled and not able to pay the premiums, the insurance company will continue to add money to that contract and pay for it. Contracts today also have long-term care, so that would be some medical coverage where the death benefit could be used to pay for nursing home expenses, disability expenses, stay at home, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So there was a nursing home benefit that is available now on that contract. So in that co protection component, I've actually lit up three different of those elements in that component. However, the cash value flows down and shows up in drawer number S7, which is the tax deferred savings drawer and there's the cash value. Now that cash value growing in that drawer grows tax deferred and it can be accessed on a tax-free basis. And an opportunity comes along down in the protection component, which is drawer number G8, which is real estate. If I'm putting $10,000 a year into this policy, after the first couple of years, the cash value is increasing by 10,000 a year. So now I can make a $10,000 loan and pay the mortgage payment on a duplex, which is $860 a month, which is $10,000 a year. And when I buy that duplex, it now generates rents. It goes back up into the cash value of the insurance policy and repays the loan that I made that year. 
But that $1 that went into the life insurance created cash value, allowed me to buy real estate. You, you get the idea that this is this falls in line. And I would highly recommend Robert Kiyosaki's book, Cash Flow Quadrant, because it lays this out and explains velocity of money and how that you can create passive residual income on an ongoing basis. I'm gonna cut it off there today. We're gonna to talk more about this and get more in detail with this on Wednesday this week in our podcast. Now, tomorrow I will be at the WBBPW MBA podcast radio, uh, and that is their Facebook webpage. I'm on the radio live, which is 12.30 a.m or 93.3 FM in the Beaver Valley area. There will be a live presentation of my time. I'm on at 9.10 Eastern time to 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, Tuesday, the 16th of August, 9.10 to 10 a.m. Now, I will also be broadcasting live on Facebook on the Family Money Farm group tomorrow morning at the same time. You want to get that show because we're going to talk in great detail about velocity of money and how to create velocity of money so that I can grow wealth exponentially with little or no risk in the equation. Get my new book, The Family Money Farm, The CFO Project. Go to cfo-project.com, cfo-project.com. Put in your name and email address and you will get a link. You'll get an email with a link in it that instantly gives you a download of my book, The Family Money Farm, The CFO Project. But it also gives you a download of my newest book. It's an ebook called Financial Mastery Coaching, The Blueprint, which lays it out on a weekly basis. Plus, there are two multi-page reports at the end for inventory and making sure that things aren't lost the day you die. So it's a tool to provide information to your beneficiaries, your children, your heirs about your wealth. God bless you. I will be back again on Wednesday to talk more about velocity of money.